Whether your team won or lost or you didn't have a horse in the race, Super Bowl 54 marked the first time fans could wager on the big game at Grand Falls Casino. Kettleland Sean Bauer has that story. Whether you're a Chiefs fan. It's been 50 years since they've been in the, in the Super Bowl, so uh, we're kind of celebrating because I was seven last time they were in. Or 49ers fan. Uh, bigger, better, stronger, more superior team. There's just no question. Even non-fans had something to root for on Super Sunday. Everyone's going to watch the Super Bowl. Everyone wants to lay a bet on the Super Bowl. It's kind of like the you know, March Madness and the Kentucky Derby. Everyone becomes a fan of that particular sport on that particular day. The Chiefs entered Sunday as slight favorites, though most money was placed on prop bets, including the coin toss, which player scores first, and whether there's a safety. Over five for Kittle for catches. They're going to target the number 85 today, and they're going to get a lot of catches out of George Kittle. Uh, I'm just taking the Niners. No prop bets. My wife will go a little crazy if I get it too carried away. I was surprised to see no prop bet for uh, Joe Staley, left tackle, to be the MVP, though. I was kind of bummed about that. For these football fans, a trip to the sports book proved to be a good bet. It's a good time. We're just kind of out, uh, you know, looking for something to do better than just staying home and watching the game. In Larchwood, Sean Bauer, Kelwin Sports. The final line had Kansas City favored by one and a half points. And sorry, JT, but George Kittle only had four receptions.